Okay guys, so I have a bit of a situation today. Um, I've gone to see my mealworms and I've noticed this sort of water appearing up here and that makes me think there's something mouldy in here. And then I had a closer look and the oats have started to go blue because I think they got like, I don't know, I think it's something to do with the fruit that I'm putting in with the mealworms. So I'm going to have to clean them out. Yeah, you can see, <laughs> you can certainly see where that is. That's a chunk of apple. And this is really gross, so I'm going to have to go and clean that out. We've got some, actually, we've got some really good sized mealworms. This is from my mealworm breeding colony, or darkland beetle breeding colony. So I'm just going to go clean this out because it stinks, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I've cleaned that out. I would have got them a new box, but I've completely misplaced all of them. They're probably down the shed. Anyway, I'm going to put in some new porridge oats. And spill them all over my carpet. Great. All right. Keep sneezing. Oh, that's gross. That was my cat. She's, um... You're going to... She's got the sniffles. Okay. So what I am going to do is now move all the mealworms into this. Now, that's probably a really simple way where you can like sift them out. I can't even really think about that at the moment, so I'm just going to do it one by one. So this is going to take a while. Okay guys, I'm finally done. That actually took me so long because I have mealworms that are massive and then there are mealworms that are absolutely tiny, like mealworms that would have just hatched. That's how small they are. So there's a chance I've thrown a few away. I'm not sure, but hopefully I've got them all. I just had to sieve um, mouldy porridge oats through my hands and pick out the mealworms. I don't know if you guys have I'm Slow to get me out of here in other countries but um yeah this, what i just did would certainly be a trial on one of those programs my hand is covered in like mold i don't know if they have any health benefits to your hands but my hands are having a deep clean because that was so disgusting now one thing i will say about keeping these millworms i've actually had a lot of people contact me with their answer to what to feed millworm what's really good um I would definitely say I made a mistake by putting in chunks of fruit because obviously some of these are tiny, some are bigger, but they're not going to get through that much fruit and that's probably why it goes so mouldy because they take it all under the porridge oats and then you don't see it, then it goes mouldy. So learn from my mistake and just use a little bit of fruit if you're going to use that. Some people use different stuff, people have used potatoes, carrots, so keep it small otherwise it will go mouldy. I hope this video has helped and thank you very much for watching.